Uh, the model 4500 SPH, it's one of our larger models. Where these really make sense from a financial standpoint, one for long load situations, where you're basically transporting waste over longer distances. And that's where these things really kind of pay for themselves because what they do is they weigh the bales and are able to load the trailer. So you know exactly how much your trailer is loaded out to. And what that does for you is you don't have to waste time taking a trailer to a scale, bringing it back, loading a little bit more, or maybe you realize you loaded it too much. It offloads a lot of the responsibility from your operators to kind of guesstimate how loaded a trailer is, it takes care of all that for you. Along with that, it reduces the workload on your operators. In a typical top load situation, you have to have an experienced either excavator driver or front loader driver that loads the trailers and kind of smashes it down, you might say, to kind of pre-compact it to load up the trailer. Then once that's done, you take it over to scaffolding to tarp the, that trailer. What that does is it takes time. It takes people to do that. And so there's the safety element of people up on scaffolding. It can be rainy, icy, whatever condition is, is out there. This removes all that. A compactor like this that can load 120 tons an hour, basically as fast as you can get trailers moved around and in place, you're pulling away with maximum loads that are road legal. So your throughput can really increase in that sense. You're able to get more per trailer to where it used to take you five trailers making a 400 mile trip, you can do it in maybe three trailers. But the amount of round trips is reduced, wear and tear on your vehicles and your trailers is reduced. Sometimes these things can pay for themselves in a year, year and a half. So for a, a big piece of capital equipment like that, that's a pretty quick payoff.